Good evening. Uh, thank you, Chairman, and thank you, Commissioners, for allowing me the time to speak here tonight. Uh, my name is David Smith, and I am the Deputy Director of Garden State Equality. With 21,000 members in every county in the state, Garden State Equality is New Jersey's largest advocacy organization for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex civil rights. Since Garden State Equality's founding in 2004, New Jersey has enacted 153 laws at the state, county, and municipal levels advancing the civil rights of the LGBTI community. That's more LGBTI civil rights enacted in less time than in the history of any other state in the United States. Garden State Equality is also the only statewide LGBTI rights organization in New Jersey that has full-time staff. Because not even this distinguished commission has its own exclusive full-time staff, Garden State Equality is in a unique position to hear about and investigate complaints of how the civil union law is working and clearly not working. In addition, Garden State Equality appears in the press every day, in case any of you didn't notice. Um, because of our profile, Garden State Equality is the first place where most LGBTI people in New Jersey go when they have a problem. As of today, 304 couples have come to Garden State Equality to complain that their employers are not recognizing their civil unions. That means the New Jersey civil union law is failing I'm sorry, it, the New Jersey Civil Union Law is failing civil union couples in about one in every six cases, an astonishing rate of failure. In fact, the failure ratio of the law is likely way higher because the 304 complaints are only those that have come to Garden State Equality. Some of the couples asking, some of the couples coming to us ask that we keep their count, complaints confidential, but some others do not. Tonight, we present this commission a letter signed by 30 representative couples, couples who live all over the state, north, central, and south, who have gotten civil unions and whose civil unions are not being respected by employers. This letter is addressed to all of you on the commission and to Governor Corzine, Senate President Richard Cody, and Assembly Speaker Joe Roberts. At tonight's hearing and at the other upcoming hearings of this commission, you'll hear from several of these couples. Like for too many other couples across New Jersey, their civil unions are not being respected because employers don't respect civil unions as they respect marriage in the real world. In the end, the first-hand experiences of these and other couples, the, he the people hurt most by the law, will provide you the most important views of all. I would now like to present one of the couples signing the letter, Richard Cash and Craig Ross.